Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on our foundation level sample questions discussion. We are in set B talking about the chapter four. I just missed out one more question from this chapter and thought of making this short tutorial to cover that. And uh, this question is about error guessing. Let's have a look. The question number 29, which says uh, which of the following best describes the concept behind error guessing and you need to Go ahead and recall what exactly experience-based techniques are all about and how does it basically fit in terms of the basis what you really need to have in order to apply these techniques uh, uh, in the real-time testing. So what they really want to know from you is do you really know the basis which are basically utilized in order to apply your experience-based technique like error guessing. So here we got four options. Let's look at A. It says... Error guessing requires you to imagine you are the user of the test object and guess mistakes the user could make interacting with it. I think this is more on the usability side of it, which basically drives you telling you that as a user, what kind of you know mistakes you can make and uh, identifying that would lead you to make the product more user friendly for the end users, right? But the objective of error guessing is not to do that. Thus, it does not meet our expectations. Talking about B, error guessing involves using your personal experience of development and the mistakes you made as a developer. I think that's also something which is quite not professional here. We really didn't expect a QA to be a developer and then turn out to be a QA just because he wants to test with his past knowledge of development issues, right? So that's not one among the basis of error guessing to be applied in our real-time practices. Coming to see error guessing involves using your knowledge and experience of defects found in the past and typical mistakes made by the developers. Now there's a difference between the option B and C. Here we are not saying what you did as a developer. Here we are trying to talk about predicting what a developer can go wrong with. And at the same time, they're also highlighting two major parameters here. Number one is using your knowledge, which is your past experience and the experience of typical defects, which the product generally you know, comes with, right? You know, typical defects which may happen or occur in the product. Having this knowledge is actually the basis to apply the experience-based techniques, including error guessing. But let's confirm with the D, error guessing requires you to rapidly duplicate the development task to identify the sort of mistakes a developer might make. Why should I be doing a double effort to duplicate a task of the development to just understand that what exactly a developer can do? And probably that would be more time consuming. In fact, it's a repetition of development efforts to you know find out that what could be wrong. We are not trying to guess what developers can go wrong with once again. So here more is like guessing the error in the product from our past experience, talking about typical defects which you may have the knowledge about and having the predictions that generally these are the areas, generally these are the particular corner cases where developers can go wrong, right? So putting it all together, the right answer here is C, error guessing involves using your knowledge and experience of defects found in the past and typical mistakes made by the developers, not you playing the role of the developer, right? Hope that makes sense. And that was just one question remaining from the chapter four. We'll be continuing ahead with the chapter five and look forward to more questions there as well. So that's all from this particular tutorial team. Should you have anything else, feel free to comment below. I'm always there to address your queries and answer them well. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.